Hello everyone, LD3 back with you for another video. Today we are back with the Everton career mode here on FIFA 18. And we got a good match today. We got an away match against Southampton. We also have a match against West Ham. Where are they in the table? So West Ham are 17th and Southampton are 13th. So two bottom half teams. We should be able to get six points today. But I do want to start out. I'm um, letting you guys know about the international business. So, as in last episode, I did decide to go with the Swiss national team as my um, national team I'm going to be hosting. And just to clarify, we will be playing in the World Cup after the um, qualifiers. We are in second place here uh, behind Germany, but ahead of Slovenia, Denmark, Russia, and Finland. I'm not sure why Russia had to qualify. They are hosting the World Cup, so they're guaranteed to be in it. But in either case, we are going to the World Cup. I'm pretty sure there aren't any more games to play. So I'm very happy there. So be looking out for the World Cup at the end of this season. But for right now, we are going to go in to Southampton and hopefully get a win. Okay, Theo Walcott on the ball. We're going to pass it over to Ayozi Perez, or at least try to. We aren't able to do so. Tom Davies is going to try to get an interception, and he does. We are playing the second team today just because I want to rest up the players. Just how the schedule goes if we want the first team players ready for the Europa League match. We're playing them in, we're playing the second team of this match. And it's perfectly fine because Wayne Rooney scores in the eighth minute to make it 1 0 Everton. Fantastic work there. Fantastic passing to push the ball forward. Theo Walcott over to, I believe, Calvert Lewin. No, I'm not. That wasn't Calvert Lewin. Maybe it was McCarthy. I'm not sure. But in either case, it gets on the feet of Wayne Rooney around the penalty spot. He scores the goal to make it 1-0. Let's go. Okay, James McCarthy on the ball, who I believe got the assist for the first goal. We're going to cut back here. We're going to see if we can find someone in the middle like Wayne Rooney. Just like that. No, not really like that. But it does end up at the feet of Ayozi Perez. Calvert Lewin takes a shot, but it goes wide there. Very, very close there. I thought I had an opportunity at a shot. It just goes high and wide left. But you know what? We are still pushing forward. I do like that. Hopefully we get more opportunities in a little bit. Oh, good pass to Theo Walcott. He's still on the ball. We're going to try to get it to Wayne Rooney. It doesn't work out, though. We do lose the ball. Let's see if we can get a header or something. Can someone just get the ball? Thank you very much. I appreciate that. And I appreciate maybe the ball getting back to Wayne Rooney again. I'm being a little too through ball heavy here. I'm trying to get some open passes. It's just not working out. Let's see if we can get the ball here. Why did I change players? I don't even know why I changed players. But we do have an advantage. And they are going to call the advantage. It is a yellow card on Ganioni. Ganioni? I have no idea. But in either case, a couple decent chances. Let's see if we can get another one right here. We're going to get the ball over to Theo Walcott. We're going to get it to uh, Calvert-Lewin. Then to Wayne Rooney, who's going to have chances, but he loses the ball again. That time it was actually a decent pass. Just Wayne Rooney lost the ball there. But, man, we're definitely pushing forward. We're getting chances that are getting really, really close. And hopefully we can make the most out of those chances very soon. A oh, beautiful passing here. You get the ball out to Martina. He's only 70 rated, but he might be able to find someone. He finds Theo Walcott on the other side, and then it gets cleared out. No, Walcott gets back on the ball. Then Mason Holgate's going to try to cross it in. Did that get deflected? It did get deflected, so he will have a corner here. We haven't done the best on corner kicks, but maybe that changes right now. Wayne Rooney to Calvert-Lewin. No, but it goes out for another corner. It goes off of a Southampton player. Wayne Rooney again, crossing it in. Calvin Lewis head off the crossbar. Ayosi Perez tries a shot. It gets cleared out, and that is going to be halftime. Man, that was a really good chance right at the end of the half with Calvert Lewin's header. But you know what? Pretty solid first half. We do have the lead going into the locker room, so hopefully we can come out and get another goal and ice this match in the second half. Okay, Wayne Rooney to Theo Walcott to Calvert Lewin over to Tom Davies. And I was going to try to get it to Iosi Perez there, but it works out that Martina gets on the ball. We're going to cut back here. Nice move. Now get it to Iosi Perez. Over back to Tom Davies, to James McCarthy. Over to Iosi Perez. Oh, man, that was almost some good passing right there. Almost good passing. Nice interception there. Let's start pushing forward once more. Holgate to Rooney to Walcott. Back to Rooney. 
to Calvert Lewin to possibly Ayozi Perez. No, it's all the way over to Martina on the other side. Pretty interesting run there to pick up, and then the ball gets cleared out again. <laughs> per usual, we are one pass away every single time. Like, if that cross found someone, or if that through ball that I tried to do just connected, we would have had easy goals. But instead, we're just missing out on the slightest chances. Hopefully, that doesn't cost us in the end. They're going to cross it, and that was a very terrible cross. Way out of bounds. Um, poor opportunity there by Southampton. But you know what? Hopefully, we can come back in a little bit and actually get the goal that I think we deserve. Now it's with Wayne Rooney. Oh, beautiful passing here to get the ball to Theo Walcott. Let's see if we can find someone in the middle. We can. Calvert-Lewin. One more touch. Shot on the edge of the box. What a strike. What a strike from Calvert-Lewin to make it 2-0 to nil in favor of Everton Football Club. Beautiful. Beautiful work there. Theo Walcott gets there. He passes it over to Calvert-Lewin right on the edge of the box, 18 to 20 yards out. He just absolutely crushes it. Left side, McCarthy can't get to it. It is 2-0 now for Everton away from home. Let's go. Oh, wow. What a tackle there by Tom Davies. And he is just on the move. I believe they were on all-out attack here just so they could try to get a goal. It's literally a four-on-one right now. And Calvert-Lewin's going to try a header, but it's going to be very easy for McCarthy to make the save. They're not even close at all. Let's see if we can get the ball back here. That would be greatly appreciated. I do not want Southampton to score a goal. If we can keep the clean sheet here, that would be awesome. And we just let up a goal. Oh, man. that was I knew that was going to be close. I knew if I was able to get ahead to it, that would have been cleared out. But you know what? That was, that was a pretty solid cross. Just over the head of our defenders. And it does make it 2-1 to one in favor of Everton. Hopefully we can still get the three points out of this match, though. There, let's see. Good pass over to the left side. Great cross just ahead of Ashley Williams' head and foot. And he, and the Southampton defender sc player scores. Can't really complain about that. Very good cross. Very good header in. 2-1 now. Let's just hopefully keep the lead and get the three points. Okay, 90th minute here. Southampton attacking. Once again, they are going to shoot it really high, though. Not even in the vicinity of the goal. Very happy about that. We're just going to crush a long ball down there. Get it as far away from our goal as possible. There are only two added minutes, so if we can just get possession back, that would basically end this entire match. Or they're not even going to give them another opportunity. I will take that 2-1 to one finish here against Southampton at St. Mary's Stadium. Nice three points away from home. Whenever you get three points away from home, you got to come away very, very happy. And you know what? Let's just move on. Okay, guys. Next game in this episode, like I said, we are taking on West Ham. This time at home. We currently have a seven-point lead in the Premier League with one team a game in hand. Another team has the same amount of games as us. So we are definitely controlling the top of the table right now, hopefully with another win today. We can keep that lead or maybe even extend it. Oh, this is a very quick start here from Everton. We got Christian Pulisic on the ball. He's going to try to cross it, and no one's there. But Morgan Sterling's going to get on the ball, and it's going to be just wide. Man, almost a goal within the first five minutes here from Everton. That ball wasn't really that close to the net, but you know what? It was low enough, and it was fairly, fairly close. It was only about, like, five or so yards away. Not that bad, but you know what? Very good start here from Everton. Great attacking power. Maybe that continues over the, the entire 90 minutes. Oh, wait. What? What? We, got, we just let up a penalty? Are you kidding me? Is that Christian Pulisic that just let up a penalty? Are you kidding me? I thought I cleared the ball out. I didn't think I actually got someone for a penalty there. No, he was the one that kicked me, but apparently he was the one that fell down and they're calling a penalty. This is insane. I don't understand it. But you know what? We are about to let up a goal most likely because I do not know how to play goalkeeper in this game in terms of penalties. It's never good. And he's going to go left and it's off the crossbar. It is off the crossbar. Are you kidding me? They're going to take another shot and a fantastic save by Jordan Pickford. Let's see if we can counter off that. Everyone's forward. Not actually no one's forward. Nobody is forward. But you know what? We might still be able to get a goal here. We're going to try to get the ball to Davy Klaus. I'm not Christian Pulisic. Wrong person I was passing to me. But you know what? I am very happy. Jordan Pickford went the completely wrong direction of where it was. 
and we still end up not allowing the goal. Very happy there. Now they let up a foul, and we are going to have a free kick opportunity. Let's see if we can score off of our set piece. Alex Tellis crossing it in, and nobody is there for Everton. And the keeper gets the ball. Adrian gets the ball, and now that opportunity is gone. But, man, really good chances by both sides there, and somehow neither of us have gotten a goal. Okay, David Klaasson with a little bit of room here. We're going to cut back. And we're going to pass the ball to Christian Pulisic. We're going to try and take a shot. Why didn't you take the shot, Christian? Are you kidding me? How did you not take the shot, you there? You literally waited like five seconds after I told you to shoot the ball. And then you went and shot it. That makes absolutely no sense. At least you're going to get a nice pass there. And maybe we can find... Set to Soto the edge of the... Of the six yard box how do you not store that no it's Gilfie Sigurdsson it's not even Seg Tucson it's Gilfie Sigurdsson how do you miss that you had a wide open net you had it wide open and you just miss it literally by this much are you kidding me that that should be a goal that should be a goal that was phenomenal passing and we somehow didn't score there maybe we can still score with Davy Klaus on that was a nice tackle that was a really nice tackle by uh, West Ham center back, and that should be halftime, and it is. Oh, man. Probably should be like 2-1 right now. I think that's what the scoreline should be. 2-1 in favor of Everton, but you know what? Nil-nil so far. I think we've been slightly the better team. Not totally the better team, but slightly the better team. Hopefully in the second half, though, we can play much better and actually get a ball in the net. Oh, beautiful pass to save Tucson by Christian Pulisic, and that is a nice save there by Adrian. Can't really complain about that. That was a solid save. I probably could have taken an extra touch, but it would have been a worse angle, so I really don't mind taking the shot from where I did. Let's see if we can score off this corner, though. Are we going to have someone right there? We are, but we do miss it there. Michael Keane with the header on the ball one of our center backs comes in from basically nowhere and puts a head to it just puts it a little too high a net but you know what good first opportunity in the second half all right gilfie sigurdsson on the outside we're going to see if we can find someone we found sank tucson we found davy claus and we're going to find sigurdsson on the outside again we're going to try to cross it in we're going to see if christian pulisic can get his head to it we are unable to nice pass to sigurdsson there over to Davy Klaasson. We're going to try a shot, and that is just high there. Just high. Fairly decent chance again. 63rd minute. We have a half hour to score. Let's go see if we can do it. Oh, no. That was a bad pass. Eric Dyer, why are you passing straight back to the West Ham attack? I don't understand, but you make up for it. No, that was Michael Keane. Never mind. Michael Keane. Makes up for the bad defensive effort there with a nice tackle. And now we are pushing forward. We have Omar Nias on the ball because we have brought him on for Morgan Schneider. And we wanted a little more pace on the ball. Christian Pulisic, why did I take that shot? Why did I take that shot? That's a really weird shot to take. I probably should have been a little more patient. With 15 minutes left, though, it's going to be hard to be patient. I'm going to try to and hopefully find an open attack. But for right now, it's looking really, really likely it's going to be a nil-nil draw. All right, I am currently now on all-out attack. I have brought in Wayne Rooney and Iosi Perez to strengthen up our attack. We got Gilfie Sigurdsson. He's going to cross it in, and it goes out for a quarter. I almost messed that up. I almost just ran out of bounds with it with Gilfie Sigurdsson. That would have been bad. But you know what? We now have a corner. Let's cross it in. Let's see if we can find someone on the edge. We got Seng Tucson to get his head to it. Just not even close to being on target. We are on all-out attack here. We're going to high pressure all day so that we can just make sure we get the ball back and have a chance to score here. Alex Tellis to Sigurdsson to Perez to Nias, I believe. Back to Perez. No! I was trying to get the ball to Iosi Perez. What are you doing? How did that ball not get to Iosi Perez? I have no idea. But we're going to have one more chance here. We're going to have one more chance. Sigurdsson to Nias. The shot, and it goes high again. Oh, I can't say we haven't had enough chances because in these last few minutes, you've definitely had the chances probably a foot over the bar there. That's how close that was to being 1-0. He's definitely going to long ball it. Maybe we'll have one more opportunity. No, we didn't get possession of the ball. And that is going to be full time there. 0-0 draw. Really disappointing, especially since it was at home with our first team 
against a team that is in the relegation battle currently. They are currently 17th. So I am very disappointed with the result today. Only a point, but you know what? Four points overall. I can't really, in this episode, I can't really complain about that, but very, very disappointing draw. All right, guys. Next episode, we're going to be taking on Hunter Seals. We also have our final group stage match in the Europa League. Everything is going to be on the lines in that next episode. So I hope you guys come along for the ride there. But for right now, that is going to do it here for me. So if you guys enjoyed the video, go ahead and drop it with a like. Go ahead and subscribe if you want to see more from me. And I will see you guys with a new video real soon. Bye.